Hi everyone! Welcome to our channel. I'm Mr. D. And I'm Mrs. D. This, This is, is Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Mrs. D's Robotics. Robotics. We're here to show you our journey as FLL coaches. Please do not forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you're notified when we upload new videos. In this new video, we are going to learn the uses and functions of LEGO Mindstorm components. Wondering why it's important? You're right. The more you understand the use and function of the LEGO Mindstorm components, the better you can use it for your robot. First, we have the brick also known as the computer or control center, in short, the main brain. Downloaded programs are executed from the brick, then sends program to the motors. Motors are connected to the alpha ports. Sensors are connected to the numeric ports. Alpha ports sends information out, while numeric ports receive information in. Beside the alpha port, is the PC port. This is where you'll connect the USB cable to download program from the computer to the brick. Brick buttons. Reminder, the letters you see are not really on the buttons. This is labeled to help explain the buttons clearer. The beep button is the back button. When clicked or pressed, it cancels the action or aborts the running program. The OE button, also known as the center button, when clicked, it turns the brick on or off. It also selects whatever highlighted option is selected. The up button navigates up. The down button navigates down, the left button navigates left, and the right button navigates to the right. To turn the brick on, press the OE button or the center button. The light will turn red, meaning standby. Once it turns green, the brick is ready. To turn the brick off, press the back button. You'll see the shot off screen. Click the right button to highlight the check mark, then press the center button. Brick's light will turn red, then it'll turn off or fully shut down. On the display screen, you'll see different tabs. The Run Recent tab, It shows the list of programs that you just recently ran. File tab lists all project folders uploaded to the brick. Application tab provides access to bricks apps such as Port View and Brick Program. It's best to explore this tab to learn more of different functions that you can use. Settings. This is used to configure your brick such as volume, sleep time, connection, and even changing the name of your brick. Large motor. Heavy duty motor with lower gearing for mobility use. Think of wheels. Medium motor. Light duty with higher gearing for quick response. Think of attachments, primarily for moving parts of a robot. Color sensor. Detects color for possible action based from your programmed parameter. Ultrasonic sensor. Detects distance of the robot to an object and sends data to the brick for action based from programmed parameters. Think of bats and submarine. It uses the same principle of echolocation. It emits ultrasonic wave. The wave is received back after it bounces off an object. 
Distance is determined depending on the time it takes to be received by the sensor. Touch sensor determines if the robot has physically bumped something. The sensor is either pressed, not pressed, or bumped. Brick's action is according to the set programmed parameters. Gyro sensor. It detects the robot's orientation and rotational motion. Think of angles. Infrared sensor. It detects proximity of the robot to other objects, just like the ultrasonic sensor. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you're notified when we upload new videos. Thank you for watching!